a very good morning friends today we'll be discussing on the topic extracellular metrics uh, extracellular metrics are the non cellular component present within all the tissues and organs so we already have looked at the cellular component the cell the organelles uh, inside the cell and its importance so extracellular metrics is the uh, component that helps the cells to hold together to form the tissues the organ and ultimately the organs and extracellular uh, metrics is composed of different components uh, such as collagen, elastin, proteoglycan, lamins and other glycoproteins. And each of the component or the percentage of component in the tissue varies uh, depending on the function of that particular tissue or organ. The component of extracellular uh, metrics are produced extra, uh, intracellularly uh, by the cell and they are secreted by the active transport mechanism such as exocytosis. And the ECM is involved in growth, movement, shape, cell adhesion, cell-cell communication and most of the process uh, that happens within the organs. The cell also express receptors for this extracellular protein so that they are involved in a lot of signaling process uh, involved uh, in uh, differentiation, metamorphosis and so on. The extracellular uh, metrics are also continuously undergoing uh, remodeling uh, which is mediated by a lot of uh, protease enzyme including the matrix metalloprotease and these MMBs are uh, or these degradations are very important when it comes to wound healing or when it comes to cancer cell progression or metastasis and uh, such diseases. The extracellular uh, matrix in the animals, like especially it contains uh, basement membrane as well as interstitial matrix. The basement membrane is the thin uh, sheet-like deposition of ECM that we can see between the epithelial cell and the endothelial cell. So as we can see, it is seen between the epithelial as well as the endothelial capillary lining and this is where the uh, basement membrane lies. So this actual function of the uh, basement membrane is as it acts as a mechanical barrier preventing the malignant cells from evading to the deeper tissues and they also plays a prominent role in blood filtration and uh, muscle homeostasis and this is the interstitial matrix and uh, which contains a uh, lot of uh, uh, polysaccharides and fibrous protein and they also act as a compression buffer against the stress that uh, we have on the extracellular matrix. The extracellular metric composition as per their uh, molecular composition is divided into glycoprotein, proteoglycan and free glycosaminoglycan. The collagen, elastin, all these fibrous proteins as well as the fibroconnectin laminin comes under glycoprotein. Contributin sulfate, dermatin sulfate, epanin sulfate, keratin sulfate all come under uh, the proteoglycans which are the combination of glycoprotein as well as the uh, glycosaminoglycans. And again, uh, we have the free glycosaminoglycans, which does not have their structure similar to proteoglycan, but it has only the glycosaminoglycan component, and hyaluronin is one of that component. So the first like protein that we are uh, discussing is collagen, which is a fibrous protein. Uh, they are triple helical in structure. Uh, they have three helix. The most abundant protein in the extracellular matrix is the collagen and they have repeating motif of glycine XY where X and Y are two amino acids. Most of the time it can be proline and hydroxychlorine. Uh, they are the most relevant protein in bone as well as skin and they give structural support to all these residing cells. Uh, they are usually secreted as an inactive form which is the procollagen where it is then excreted or secreted out or exocytosed by uh, the cell and then they are again cleared by the protease uh, once they are outside the cell and then they become active. And this uh, way of, uh, inact of inactive form of uh, these uh, protein molecules is a mechanism in which uh, the cell makes sure that uh, these are only getting activated when and where required. And the mutation of collagen genes can lead to a wide range of diseases such as uh, osteogenesis imperfecta, most of the bone and uh, skin related disease. So the glycoprotein elastin is encoded by LN gene and as the name suggests, it provides elasticity to tissues and organs. So they are more flexible than uh, collagen and they have a soluble precursor uh, which is tropoelastin and which are also secreted like in the case of uh, procollagen. 
Uh, these are synthesized by fibroblast and smooth muscle cells and is involved in the formation of muscle uh, in the formation of blood vessel lung skin wherever uh, our tissue or organ require elasticity which also help to uh, regain the original position once we stretch or once we poke the skin the strength of elastic fiber arises by the covalent cross-linking between the lysine uh, side chain in the adjacent elastin monomer so we can see the monomer here and the red uh, sort of strand that we can see that connects the two monomer is the lysine side chain which actually gives the strength to the elastic fiber so they elongate as well as they uh, like they relax as well as they come back to the normal position uh, according to the uh, need so mutation of this gene are also associated with a supravascular aortic uh, stenosis and uh, autosomal dominant cutis lax so most of the uh, circulatory system related disease and uh, wherever there is an issue with elastin then uh, the uh, uh, tissues or organs that uh, required to dilate or relax according to the um, biological need get affected and disease that are related to that will occur in our body. The third uh, glycoprotein is fibronectin and our class of high molecular weight uh, glycoprotein. So it has a lot of binding region uh, in the structure. If you can see the structure, there are collagen binding uh, region, there is separate binding region, syndican binding region, fibrin binding region. So there are a lot of binding region and this fibronectin is usually of two types, the soluble plasma fibronectin, uh, which is the major component of the blood plasma and the insoluble uh, cellular fibronectin, which is the command of the extracellular uh, matrix. Uh, and uh, they are secreted by the fibroblast as well as the endothelial cell. These fibronectin play a critical role in cell addition, growth, differentiation, migration, phagocytosis, etc. And uh, they like inactivation of these genes uh, result in early embryonic lethality, and so that's why uh, fibronectin is a critical component. They also enhance tumorogenicity and also uh, give the cancer cell its resistance to apoptotic inducing chemotherapeutic agents and uh, these are the binding such site as we the next component is lamin and these are again high molecular weight protein found in the basin lamina for all animals they also carry out a central role in organizing the complex interaction uh, of the basin membrane and these component also help in cell adhesion and also in the development of the nervous system and they also are used or applied in uh, regenerative medicine and the dysfunction of lamin can lead to congenital muscular dystrophy and along with collagen fibronectin lamin can be used in uh, mammalian cell culture to culture a lot of primary cells and other cells so they, they act as a, an attachment matrix and uh, like many other components they also have a lot of binding region for collagen indirectly in heparin in the way they interact with the other cell extracellulars the next is the proteoglycan so proteoglycan consists of a central core protein so this is the central core protein to which a long linear chain of uh, disaccharide called the GAGs or glycosaminoglycans are attached and this in their region is the protoglycan region and uh, the uh, protoglycan can bind to variety of extracellular matrix component including growth factors, structural proteins, cell sulfur uh, receptors etc and they can attract uh, water uh, to form gels and keep the cell hydrated and the protoglycan are one of the major components that uh, gives the cell that hydrated nature and uh, that gives the cushion for tissues against the hydrostatic pressure. Usually one sugar in uh, protoglycan is uh, uronic acid, either d glucuronic acid or l uronic acid and um, the other either uh, n acetyl galactosamine or n acetyl glucosamine and one or both of these sugars may contain the sulfate group so these are the proteoglycan and uh, they are formed by uh, beta 1 3 or beta 1 4 linkage between these uh, uh, sugar or carbohydrate moieties uh, so apparent sulfate they regulate angiogenesis blood clotting and tumor metastasis Home protein sulfate uh, they give the tensile strength uh, to cartilages tendons ligaments walls of iota and keratin sulfate they are present in the cornea uh, cartilage bone horn of animals 
dermatin sulfate in skin blood vessel heart valves and they they does it doesn't mean that these are only present in uh, this command because the uh, percentage of this component varies in different organ and tissue and uh, they also might contribute to different organs and tissue composition and the known uh, protoglycan polysaccharide is the hyaluronic acid and it's uh, is like not found as a proteoglycan uh, like the other uh, glycosamine no, glycan and it regulates cell behavior during embryonic development wound healing uh, process and uh, tumor development as well as uh, inflammation so let us look at the uh, difference between proteoglycan and glycoprotein which uh, most of the time we may get confused with so proteoglycans are core protein that are covalently attached to one or more glycosamine or glycan chain while glycoproteins are oligosaccharide chain covalently bound or attached to proteins the proteoglycan are mainly seen in connective tissue while glycoprotein are seen in cell surface uh, we have already seen this while we discussed about the plasma membrane these are uh, very much found on the outer surface of plasma membrane the proteoglycan will combine with collagen to form cartilage modulation of uh, cell development and other functions while glycoprotein uh, helps in cell cell recognition signaling since they are out of the plasma out in the outside surface of the plasma membrane and most of the signaling mechanism as well as recognition of other cells that interact uh, takes place through this glycoprotein the carbohydrate content is 50 to 60 percent in proteoglycan and 10 to 50 percent in glycoprotein and uh, the charges of carbohydrate is negative in proteoglycan we have already seen that and it can be either negative or positive in case of uh, glycoprotein and the significance because of this negative nature it attracts a lot of water content it gets hydrated and they give the cushion sort of function for all these cartilage and other components where proteoglycans are found in case of glycoprotein the carbohydrate modifications are very essential for the function of protein for their interaction or their recognition and it also affects the performance of therapeutic antibodies where how they interact how they bring about their therapeutic effect and the efficacy all those things depends on the glycosylation pattern of these glycoprotein and uh, they are of different types the proteoglycan the chondroitin sulfate that matin sulfate and sulfate keratin sulfate and others that we have already discussed and glycoprotein they are the uh, collagen transferring immunoglobulins mucins and others